After World War II, the United Nations was founded to protect universal principles of human rights. Over time, the UN changed. Today, the world body elects brutal dictatorships to key positions. Russia, Iran, Mauritania, Sudan, Syria. Dictatorships used their power at the UN to tell lies about human rights. The evolving situation in Syria is going in the right direction. Iran is not only a threat, but is also a threat to the peace and peace of the peace and the peace of the world. Meanwhile, UN agencies and officials point fingers at Israel. لا تزال إسرائيل القوة القائمة بالاحتلال ماضية في انتهاكاتها الممنهجة والمنظمة القانون الدولي والقانون الدولي. It continues its inhuman practices that are in clear violation of international humanitarian law. UN Special Rapporteur on Human Rights warns the world is slouching towards nothing less than a Palestinian Holocaust. You are, uh, in, in effect, nurturing a kind of criminal intention uh, that is genocidal. Israeli generals can and should uh, be persecuted, persecuted and brought to trial by the International uh, Criminal Court. But there is someone who is speaking out defending the UN's founding principles. UN Watch. UN Watch is the voice of truth at the United Nations. The truth is that there are zero women's rights, zero religious rights, zero minority rights, zero human rights in Saudi Arabia. The truth is that Saudi Arabia has an entrenched system of gender apartheid. The truth is that Saudi Arabia should never have been elected as a member of this council. UN Watch is the voice of truth in the media. Today is a black day for human rights. The United Nations General Assembly just moments ago elected China, Cuba, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Vietnam, some of the world's worst abusers of human rights to its top rights body. This is the foxes guarding the chickens. It's absurd, it's hypocritical, and it harms human rights. There are millions of victims worldwide who look to the United Nations to be their protector, to be their voice. And what we're seeing today is the worst hypocrisy. This silence means complicity in the dissent of the UN Human Rights Council, new and improved, back to the ignominious past of the widely discredited Human Rights Commission. It's a very sad day. We also have Saudi Arabia, which last week uh, arrested women for the crime of driving while being a woman. Saudi Arabia is the worst country on the planet when it comes to women's rights, when it comes to freedom of religion, and they're likely to be elected as a world judge on human rights. This is an organization that in the past five years has adopted 55 resolutions against Israel, one on Syria, and zero on Iran, Sudan, North Korea, and every other country in the world. UN Watch makes global headlines. Last week at the UN, an interpreter that didn't realize that the microphone was on. I mean, I think when you have five statements, not five, but like a total of ten resolutions on Israel and Palestine, there's got to be something. It's un peu trop, non? I mean, I know it's a, yes, yes, it's right, but it's not the, oh, there's other really bad shit happening when he says anything about the other stuff. Apologies. Netanyahu showed the video brought to light by UN Watch at Israel's latest cabinet meeting. Well, you know, they say that uh, the truth gets lost in translation. Not this time. Later in solitary confinement, I was raped over and over again. Um, well, I was invited by UN Watch and a Geneva-based NGO, and uh, they gave me their spot to speak at the Human Rights Council. The Chinese delegation made a point of order and asked the president of the council um, to uh, stop me from continuing or finishing my statement. My name is Tiana Wong, and I'm the daughter of a Chinese political prisoner. My heart is broken from the last 12 years of my father's imprisonment. We would like to request you to stop the speaker from speaking. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we support uh, the point of order that was presented uh, by China. UN Watch exposes UN officials who abuse their mandate, holding them to account.
Mr. Falk is once again attacking UN Watch, an NGO led by Canadian Hillel Nur, and called for them to be investigated. Will the Minister of Citizenship and Immigration inform the House whether the government agrees with Mr. Falk or not? Richard Falk is an embarrassment to the United Nations Human Rights Council. He has praised 9-11 conspiracy theorists repeatedly. He has suggested that the United States provoke terrorist attacks against it. He is now attacking a Canadian-led NGO. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we call on Richard Falk to be fired from the, by, as a special rapporteur of the United Nations Human Rights Council. He is a disgrace to that body and the United Nations, Mr. Speaker. Absolutely absurd that I'm creating a Gaddafi prize for anything. Well, uh, Jean Ziegler is a human rights imposter, and in many ways he represents the distinct political culture, uh, the debased values of the UN Human Rights Council. UN Watch gives a voice to human rights defenders and political dissidents at high-profile sessions reported around the world. The arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. But at the same time, I want to share with you the Dr. King's conviction that it, the arc must be bent by sustained effort of those committed to justice. UN Watch, fighting to defend the true principles of human rights.